Big Brian GG for five. Got my super chat in before last call. Eric July Saga is the best. Hope his game is accessible. Keep up the jokes. We he love- says his game is going to be very accessible. No, he says his game is not going to be accessible. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he? That he's not worrying about accessibility in his game. I'm I'm glad. So Big Brian has not actually watched the bonus episode yet because we haven't posted it, but he did pick up on the fact <laughs> we talked that about Eric accessible July a lot. Does not know how to pronounce <laughs> accessible and says multiple times in his video, I don't want the game to be too accessible. He's playing it up. I don't know. He it's literally. It's a minstrel show, man. I'm telling you guys. How do you not know the word accessible? Pa- he's just Polemoth. like playing a. That Plymouth, Plymouth, he didn't know. He's a mush mouth. It's crazy. Is it really engaging and you can kind of sleep through it? Before we even get to build out the game, we start bit. with the combat and general gameplay loop. This is Everything him describing the, describing the Ripiverse how video game. The game plays, not the other way around. We're not going to create a game and then say, oh, people got to actually play. Can you pause it, it for a second? <laughs> so he made an entire video about the video game he wants to make, but the entire video is just him bitching about other video games. At this man No, 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 no. It's about it's him bitching about uh video game design uh philosophy. It's not about he's yes. like because what he knows nothing about. He does he knows, not he knows understand. Nothing about. He was like, I want to make it an MMO, but I hate MMO combat. And, and, you know, and it always feels like, you know, stiff this, it feels stiff too. and whatever. And you're I like, I want to make it jam packed. I want to make it. Yeah. I want to make it super like, fun and action packed. You can't because it's on a server with a hundred players and you need <sighs> to be able to issue the servers. Very simple commands. Like yeah. my character is walking from point A to point B. And in the middle of that, they will swing their sword once. Mm-hmm. You can't do a fluid action MMO because the server would fucking explode. It would be, or you would just see other people's characters warping around as the computer tries to figure out where they're going, but then has to constantly revise it back because they changed their action midway through. Like, you don't. <laughs> You're over explaining it. He's. This is listen, a 12 year old listen, going, listen. I don't understand why they don't just make an online Devil May Cry with a thousand characters. Everybody would like it. Yeah. Because you fucking can't do There's not enough bandwidth to do that. You don't have infinite bandwidth, you retard. Like, you don't understand how video games work, so don't spend- You're picking on, like, the most technical, like, autistic point. Because- it's, of a technical limitation. He's way dumber than that. I know. He's got like you're like obsessing about this simple server limitation when he's saying stuff that's t- that's way stupider. He's every guy on the internet who goes, "I just don't know. This game looks like it was made in Unity." And you go, "What does that mean? What are you talking about? What do you mean it looks like it was made in Unity?" Unity I don't know what that. I've never heard that. There's people who think that the graphics of a game depend on the engine that you use. Yeah. And it's like, no, a game uh, games made in Unity can have completely different fucking... Li- now, if you're saying they're using stock assets, but whatever. It's just one of these stupid arguments that people yeah. who know nothing about game design... Yeah. I worked in the video game industry. I know, you're making okay? him look good. Yeah, yeah. Right, fair enough. Play loop. Everything extends from how the game plays, not the other way around. We're not going to create a game and then say, oh... People got to actually play it. So what? Just that part. He doesn't know anything about video games. Everything extends from the way it's played. We're not going to make a game and then say, oh, people have to play it. Just say, I don't know anything about video game development. I would really enjoy making an MMO. Yeah. When you start making statements about here's what's wrong with MMOs is that I want them to perform in technical ways that are literally impossible given the current technology and available (laughs) processing power of machines. That's when it's like, okay, so you're stupid. Shut uh-huh. up. You don't know how to make video games. So just say, I would like to make an RPG starring Isom. Yeah. It would be a fun quest. Yeah. Well, here's what I'm thinking for a combat system. I like this to be a Hi. mini fighter of sorts. This would very much be a controller-driven game, but I have some ideas. <laughs> controller-driven game. Have they ever tried that? CDG. It's a classic industry term. <laughs> controller-driven game? Sure. All right, you want to make an wow. online? He wants to make an online brawler, starring or starring. Vito, you, you Vito, make your own Vito. Superhero. You just—it's a controller-driven game. It's controller driven okay, game. don't get, don't think you know more than about his Is vision. He writing than he, these scripts for himself. I don't even. I have no idea. Who could possibly who write could possibly this? Possibly write this. I want to hear about his it's controller-driven, a controller-driven game. game. About input options too. We'll talk about that in a bit. Marvel's Avengers yeah, was that. a game that failed because it did exactly what I said. Not to do, or it will fail. But the one with gaming quality was its combat system and its setting. What I mean by that is that we got to see a true live response 
combat system with heroes varying in their powers. I okay. imagine for our game, it would be a mix of that with maybe even a hint of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. <laughs> the He's a 12-year-old child. Like, that's it. It's listening to a 12-year-old go... It failed because exactly what I, exactly what I, said. I said it would fail because they did. I want to make a video game that's like Spider-Man plus Mario Goku. 2. Mario 2. Pinball. Pinball. Put a, yeah. Also, Contra, fuck quarters. It. Throwing quarters at quarters. the wall. Everybody play that. The important thing is it's a controller-driven game that is not accessible to everyone. <sighs> The point is, it's live response, and I don't want it to be a button masher. I want there to be combos when it comes to melee that's based on both the button combinations and the timing. When I say live response... <laughs> okay, so I know the technical shit is, like, pissing you off, but the reason that MMOs have very simple, like, three-hit combos is, again, you can't feed that many inputs into the system when a game has, like, 100 players... Because each of them has to see what you're doing at the same time. I know. You're just explaining stuff that's so far beyond. He's, it's like you're mad at a child for not understanding. Like, listen to how he describes a combo. It depends on the buttons and also the timing. We've only like, now discovered. Oh yeah? Look up rollback net code, okay? We finally figured out how to make fighting <laughs> games work online. And the way fight, and those are video games that are one on one. Uh huh. And that uh, address the problem of the computer can't possibly know what you're doing, so it has to guess. And yeah. if it's wrong, it will then roll it back slightly with. Minimal lag. Look up rollback net code. Watch a video on it. It's very interesting. And we've only uh, now figured that out for two-player fighting games. He's going to correct you. You want to put that in a hundred-player MMO. <laughs> we, you, it's not at that point, and it probably never will be unless we somehow achieve. Somebody's got to push gift it of forward, infinite though. bandwidth, and we will not achieve infinite bandwidth in our lifetimes. He could be the Elon Musk of online games. You can't have com a complex fucking combo system in an MMO because it will just. I know. I'm getting too technical. It's just infuriating to hear guys who know nothing about video game development being like, the problem is the video game studios are lazy. Yeah. And it's like, no, it's not laziness. <laughs> it's not a lack of your brilliant foresight. It's mm -hmm. literal technical limitations right. that you do not understand because you are not a programmer. But I mean that there's going to be an obvious skill gap because of the reaction speed. So that means a very thoughtful weave and dodge mechanic. That's going to be key. With the primary gameplay, I like the characters to have two main stances, if you will. A general <laughs> stance, which will allow them to freely aim and target whatever their character is facing. And then a fight stance, which not only allows the user to focus on one enemy, but it would also change the combinations and moves that are available to you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you ever think of anything like that in games? So I used to know this kid, this Hispanic kid named Johnny. Uh -huh. He loved video games. Right. Um, and he reminds me very much of Eric Schlein. Okay. And one time I got roped into playing What did he ride to school? He, he had a moped. Oh. He was a weird little... I mean, okay. it, uh, he, I knew him from the card store. Was we, it a normal size moped or was it short? We didn't go to school anyone, oh, Okay. <laughs> he rode a normal size moped. Eric July reminds me of this guy, because uh, at one point we played a, a tabletop RPG, like a Dungeons & Dragons type thing, but it was a mm -hmm. superhero universe. Clicks? Yeah, uh, I forget what it was called. Okay. It was like Superpowers, the RPG. Okay. And everybody says their character, and, you know, one guy's like, well, my guy's kind of like a, like Superman, but he's just got his powers, and, you know, he's figuring it out. Sure. And other guy's like, oh, my guy's, you know, a speedster, he's very fast. We get to Johnny, and he goes... My guy is like, you know, like Trunks from Dragon Ball Z, and he has like a sword on his back, and the sword is like invincible, and also he's invincible, like you can't hurt him at all, <laughs> and he's got like, he can shoot fireballs, and he's got a special gun, wow. and he's got a, he's got a magic motorcycle that can jump, and again, you can't hurt him at all, he's like the best, he's the most powerful. Sounds cool. Yeah, and the only thing that can hurt him is in... It's gold. You know, the only way to hurt him is with <laughs> gold, gold. With gold. <laughs> and the dungeon master, my buddy Seth, was like, so you made a character who can't be hurt by anything unless it's gold? He's like, yeah, so yeah. so he can't be hurt either. Can't be hurt by anything unless it's gold. Uh -huh. And then he spent my, the, the DM made for the rest of the campaign. He'd be like, you, you're fighting against a villain. He has a gun. And then Johnny would be like, what kind of bullets in the gun? He'd go, golden bullets. And he's like, fuck, I'm screwed again. 
every villain had a golden weaponry for the rest of the campaign. I see. And that's Eric describing his video game and his characters. It's like a 12-year-old child. Uh-huh. Just being like, he's gonna have a fighting stance and then like a regular stance, and then like sometimes you do like a cool combo, and there's all these combos, man. But then you got to you got to dodge sometimes. Right. What's the story? <laughs> well, he's got a sword that you can't break, <laughs> oh, okay. and uh, also he doesn't like being disrespected, and he hates security guards, man. Security really guards coming hate. out of every there's all these security <laughs> guards coming at you, man, and. And if Johnny's listening, Johnny, I love you, but that was the stupidest character I've ever encountered. You're going to charge up your respect. <laughs> you kill the security guards and collect their respect, yes. and then you charge up your respect meter. And you collect respect points. And then you can fly. It's a man with endless ideas. Then you can go in the club. The man who never runs out of ideas, Eric July. Because this would basically change that game into like a 3D fighter. This is where I'd imagine some of the PvP could exist. Oh. Balancing that would be one hell of a challenge, however. For and whom? that's where Xenoverse lacked. But my idea to address accessibility concerns <laughs> would be in the gameplay and the class system. Yeah. Though melee type of combat, that's gonna be where most people gravitate towards, right. I can think of a few other options. Okay. I want as much variety as we realistically Here's can have wall. without much of a meta. Easier said than done, I know. But yeah, what your if your developers are going to kill you? <laughs> your game developers are going to be like, done. Oh. Your, your, your developers I mean, are going to be like, not for you. You don't do anything. Right. <laughs> you be like, okay, so you want a 3D brawler that then transforms into a side scrolling, whatever the fuck, and, and then the becomes stance. a fighting the game. Uh, let's get the stance down. I want, write it. I want to Zelda game where every time I complete a dungeon, it sucks my dick, but I'm not making a video about it because it's moronic. I've often thought that I would want a little bit of porno in the game, but then I think about it in practice, and I'm like, eh, I don't know. I think that would ruin it. Some Japanese games do it. Well? We talked about on here, I need a copy of Steam Hearts for the Sega Saturn. Hmm. Okay. Though I think the Sega Saturn version has, I don't know if it has the porn stripped out or not. <sighs> I just don't think it would be, uh, I don't think it would, I think it would make it worse. Usually it's a gimmick. Yeah. Well, yeah. You ever play the exactly. Senran Kagura games? No. Those are games where you're female ninjas, and every time mm. you beat up other ninjas, their clothes fall off. And if they mm. punch you enough times, your clothes fall off. Ah, that's weird. They're pretty hot. They got big old bitties on them. Okay, I'll give it. A, I'll the look, games are I'll not that tight, it. but if you if you want to knock a lady's clothes off, they have a pinball game too, where you <clears throat> hit them with pinballs until their clothes fall off. Hmm. I'll give it a shot. Give it a shot. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.